when I was younger, I'd grow up sketching and drawing and I'd love that side of things, but never even dreamt that you could actually do a job that involved us, that type of thing. So coming here, they recognise your creative side and they, they draw it out of you to the best that, that you can be. And you could all be working on the same brief, but they, they encourage you to use your individuality to get to the final product. They actually get live projects in, so you get to deal with real clients, which obviously is good experience for when you actually do manage to get a job in the industry. Um, and this, there's such a variety of live projects as well. It's not just logo design, it's not just poster design, it's several different things, which, you know, somebody like me would never have managed to get the experience of doing that before. And it, it gets to know people as well and network and um, actually get the experience of what it's like to deal with a real life client, which is so important now these days. To win the Teen Ant competition, it was great to get us all together, working towards putting the exhibition up, which was a great experience for the actual final year show, um, and the actual experience of working to a tight deadline. It's great for your organisation, planning what you're going to do and when you're going to do it and when you need to do it by. When I started the National Diploma in the Greig, First, I wanted to do photography, but I was advised to do the National Diploma because it covered the several practices, including graphic design. So, um, attending the graphic design classes at that time, I kind of found a bit of a talent that I never even knew that I had. Um, so, it was through that, basically, that I started this course with, uh, in Jobs well doing the BA Honours degree which I was a bit dubious about um, because you know, I'm a single mum and I'm that little bit older than everyone else. But with the support of everyone, the, including the students, the staff, learning support even, because when it comes to doing essays, dissertations, I'm totally useless. Uh, one of the reasons why I left school without any qualifications. Um, but even at the age I am now, it was through attending learning support that they recognised why I couldn't do those things. And it was through finding out why I couldn't do those things that they could give me the support that I needed to be able to, to do the essays and do the dissertations and all the harder bits of the actual course. My confidence anyway grew so much from when I first started. I was so nervous about starting. Yeah, I can't believe where I am now to be honest. It's a very, very relaxed atmosphere. It's a close-knit community. There's an eclectic mix of all ages. So you, like myself, I'm a tour student. I never feel out of place at all. And the staff are great. They're really encouraging, really supportive, um, really flexible when it comes to lectures, very understanding. I have a nine-year-old little girl who obviously attend school so coming here by nine o'clock in the morning is impossible for me but when you explain to them your situation they're totally understanding and very allowing for you to just come in when you're able to make it um, but then again when you've got briefs to do even if you can't make it in you can still work at home and work to your own time limits as long as you get the work done in the end then they can be very flexible, yeah, very supportive. My creativity then can be used towards getting a good career that I'll probably really enjoy doing rather than being stuck in a job that you just go for the money for basically and you don't enjoy. It's a reason to, you know, you want to be happy going into work and that and doing this kind of thing would be right up my street, I'd love it.